Hey guys, in the last two videos we saw one how to add a test to our framework so that you know we could run it from IntelliJ. Then in the previous video we also learned how to do it from the command line. And in this video what we're going to do is we're going to cover some reporting capabilities to our framework. So the goal of this session is to generate some very basic plain vanilla HTML reports for tests. These are not like the most beautiful reports, but they are something to start with, right? And then once you're done with it, I will try to tidy up our POM file. Like there's still some things that you can do better. And in the next video, uh, then we can go back and explore some more test examples of JUnit 5, right? So without any delays, let's just get into it. So if you remember, this was one of the pages that I opened, which mentioned that you have two kind of plugins available in Maven. You have a build plugin and you have a reporting plugin. If you go back to our project, you now have already seen an example of build plugin and in this video what we will see is an example of reporting plugin we already added sure fire plugin uh, to our report uh, and in this video what we're going to do is we're going to go to uh, a reporting plugin which is sure fire report which says generate a report based on the results of unit test so let's go ahead and maybe fast i'll zoom in a little bit and if I open this in a new tab, uh, it gives you some details. It passes generated test XML files under reports and renders them using Doxia uh, to create a web interface version of the test result. If you go down a little bit, I think you should see a usage uh, section, usage page. And if I click on this, it says to generate the report as part of project, you have to add this as a part of reporting section, right? So let's just go ahead and copy this thing and go back to Windows 1 and below build. Let's just add it here. And if I go to the page again, it says when Maven site is invoked, the report will automatically be included in the project reports menu as shown in the figure below. And I think it also says uh, another way on how to generate this report so it's not allowing me to scroll now let's go back and i think it says yeah for example this one the plug the plug can also generate the report using its standalone goal which is to make one sure fire report report i think at this moment if i try to run it it might not work because we don't have the maven site plugin yet but let's give it a shot So if I refresh this, yes, it did. So if I go inside this site folder, if I click on sure fire report, uh, and if I click on this, you will see a very basic sure fire report passed in. I think once we start add, uh, once we add Maven site, this report will be a little bit better, like still not, it will not become too fancy, but it will be something. But even now, at least it tells us that, hey, you had two tests, everything passed, this was the time that it took. So it's better than having nothing, right? So that's one. Um, that's one way of getting these reports. Another way of getting the report is, as it says, if you run the Maven site, it will automatically generate a report. So let's just go back and, and let's go and add the site plugin. So let's open this one. And if we go to usage page, it says if we run Maven site, it basically generates a site and you know it also uh, creates a report for us. And site is really for deploying a site, uh, but in this case, we will just use it not to deploy a site, but to just use it to, uh, to you know, uh, create reports for us. So let's look for, let's look for Maven site uh, dependency, Maven site plugin dependency. And if you go to Maven repository, let's go here. Let's pick the latest version, which was just two months back, 3.11.0. Let's copy this. And I know it has to be build dependency. You already know that uh, from here. It's, it's a build plugin. It's not a dependency plugin. So it has to be added uh, in the POM file, not inside dependencies, but inside plugin. So let's copy it here. Let's call it plugin and this is 3.11.0 maven site plugin so i will put it 
reload the main one site plugin uh, let's copy this put it here and then I hope I put it in the correct place yes and let's just get rid of this dollar may one site plugin uh, so we do have this one done may one surefire report plugin so the version is 3.0.0 and 5 I think we already have this one here so we can use Maven Surefire plugin. So let's just copy this one and put this one here. And with this, actually, we now have uh, also the reporting capabilities standalone, but also the capabilities to generate it if we run the site uh, site command. So let's just go ahead and delete this target folder for now. And let's see that if I do. Uh, and maybe if you already don't have uh, these plugins installed, you can just go to POM file, go to May one, uh, do a reload project, and it will reload these dependencies for you. And now if you do May one clean site, it will generate the site documentation information for you, but it will also generate the, the test for you. So this is something that you can use if you also want to get like run your test, but also want to get you know the report generated automatically. So it says build success. It's telling us uh, that it generated all these dependency reports. And I think it also ran the test. So for example, if you now go to target, if you go to site, if you remember last time when we, when we ran this command, when we ran this command, it only generated one report. But now if you, uh, if you see, it has generated a lot of reports. So if we click on this report again, one you can see now it's much more richer than it was before right it's still a little bit ugly compared to many advanced reports there but it's better than what it was before and i think if you go back and if you look on any of these html reports you can see more information about the project so for example what is the project name what are the dependencies and you know then it gives you a list of all the dependencies that we have gives a dependency graph so you get a lot of information on it there right so with this i think we covered the part of uh, uh, like the main objective which was to generate pay in money html reports for the test we added a maven surefire report plugin we also added uh, added maven site plugin and now we are just left with tidying up pom file so let's just go ahead go back to our file uh, and let's just do a little bit little bit of more cleaning up uh, i think everything is is pretty tidied up except the fact that in this maven compiler source and target we have this value duplicated so let's just fix this one and let's just call it as java version 11 and let's use uh, java version for both maven compiler source and maven compiler target and maybe one more thing that i can add here is that at this moment it's going to use the the compiler that is that is available for the user but if you also want to specify a particular maven compiler uh, you can also do that so for example uh, if we go back to the page here it shows us that we had different plugins so why not go and add a compiler plugin as well so if you go and click on maven compiler uh, it shows you usage uh, maven compile maven maven test compile and you can actually add it as a part of your uh, part of your plugin so let's just go ahead and search for maven compiler plugin uh, dependency and if we go to let's go to maven repository uh, so this was from uh, the last month itself so it's pretty recent let's click on this let's copy this and let's go back so we will also specify a maven compiler that you want to use for our project right so and we could add it in, in, in the top because well, it makes sense to add it in the top uh, plugin 3.10.1 uh, and well now we are not only specifying the source and target but we are also specifying maven compiler uh, plugin and let's put this value there 
3.10.1 and I think with this we have tidied pretty much our uh, POM file maven compiler plugin so I think this with this we have got all the core capabilities that we need for any kind of projects and you will see once we start uh, working on API automation, browser automation, mobile automation, this is something which is going to be standard for all those kind of projects, right? So, uh, so I think that's it for this video and I hope you learned something nice from this video and uh, if you like this video, well, press the like button. If you like my channel, please subscribe to it and in the next video, uh, we will try to add some more test examples of JUnit 5 uh, test because well, there's a huge variety of uh, tests that you can do using JUnit 5. Not just these two plain vanilla tests, but there's a lot that you can do. And that would be the topic for our next video. So I hope I'll see you guys again in the next video. Have a good day for now. See you. Cheers. Bye-bye.